Hello and good day. Welcome to Tobago Connect. I am your host, Alan Powder, and today we're dealing with entrepreneurs. And today we have on the show, creative muse, designer, magician, in some cases. We want to introduce to you, Mr. Keelan Whitlock. Hi guys. Hi, Alan. Listen, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here. Nice to have you on the show, man. Same, nice same. to have you on the show. How are things pumping, you know? Um, well, I want to say during COVID? I mean, it's, it's, it's an interesting time, I'm sure, for everybody. Um, so it's really just a time where we're doing a lot of pivoting, a lot of refocusing, a lot of readjusting, but um, slow and steady wins the race, they say? Definitely. Yes. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> so that's, that's, been, that's been my approach generally to, to life right now. Slow and steady. And, and, and we come out on the end of this, whatever that means, you know? Yeah. yeah, that's amazing sentiments because I mean a lot of people need that that level of thinking in their for life sure. right now. For sure, for you sure. know. Um, so before we get into the serious stuff, I right. want to do a little quick fire. All you right. know, um, I'm right. gonna throw some words at you, right. and I would like you to just you know give me what the first thing that comes to your mind. You All know? right. First thing that comes to your mind. All right. So first word, home. Home, for me is is a cliche saying, but home is where the heart is. Home is where love is. Home is where peace is. So. Home is, 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 is more than just a house, but it really is that space where you are allowed to be. And, and, and you, you see what I drop when I say be? Mm -hmm. You know, just derobe, unmask, and just be. So when I think of home, that's what comes to mind. Unmask. Yes. I like yes. it. Cool. Creative. Kilon. Kilon. Me. That, yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Zest. Zest. Um, <laughs> I, I guess I dance. I, I guess I dance like we've been looking forward to be able to, you know, shake a leg. Um, yeah, we've been we 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 we've, we've not been able to commune. You know, so so when I think of Zesten right now, it, it, it's really just being able to hold a vibe with your team. Yeah, Zess. Nice. Zess. Zessin, whole of vibes, people. <laughs> nice. Um, innovation. Innovation. When I think of innovation, I think of Keys Studios. Um, I mean to make this all about, but it, it had to come back. It had to mm. come back there. Um, yeah, innovation. So thinking outside of the box and, and coming up with um, stuff that... Just as an in innovative, we've, we've never seen before. You never think you could have placed this here or placed that there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, key studios because we're very synonymous with innovation. You want to go in, probably just touch on something in terms of you know that, that we, we can relate to that, right? You know, that you did really different that that sparked you. Innovation, um, generally, even key studios, the brand itself. Um, it is actually the first of its kind here in Tobago. It's the first creative and fashion styling studio in Tobago. Um, and we see to many creative and editorial type projects. So off the bat, just 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 the, the introduction of this brand on the island here. Innovation. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Yes. I like it. All right. Um, I have one more word on the quick fire for you. Mm. Curate. Curate. So I like to think of myself as a master curator. Like a good stylist, a good creative director, a good generally creative um, is somebody who is amazing at curating things. Um, spaces, curating looks. As simple as it sounds like is a major tool. It's, it's a major tool in my tool belt. Curating. Yeah. Awesome. Correct. Which leads us to my next question. Right. So I've heard a lot of people describe what you do. Right. So to some you're a designer, some you are a creative entity. Right. But to some you're a muse, you know. Right. Um, what 
I, I don't want to say the box, but how would you describe? Keelan is an all-round artist, first and foremost. Um, and I express my art in many different ways, whether it be through fashion, whether it be through music, whether it be through design. Um, so it is really artistry um, being expressed, being shown in whatever different, many different platforms, you know? Um, so folks who say, describe yourself to me, I'm an artist. Um, and I express my art in many different ways. Yeah, as simple as that. Cool. So you touched on expression and I know the obviously the whole craze is social media and different platforms. Right. What platform have you gotten a lot of response from in terms of fashion? Right. So if I'll be honest, like I launched my entire business using Instagram. Um, it was after posting uh, some of the work that I would have done. And Instagram automatically became almost like my personal portfolio, personal catalog. Um, so Instagram has been like major, major for me. Even my personal Instagram, um, I'm realizing like, I feel like if these days I want to monetize it, you know, um, and use my influencer status a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a serious thing. That's the next step, no, of that, course. It's a serious thing. Folks, um, we take for granted, I realize a lot of us take for granted um, the reach that we have. Um, and it's just saying, yeah, 2,500 followers, but like it is an actual influence, you know. Um, persons look on a daily to see where you're posting, where you're, you know. Um, so, Instagram for sure has been major for me. Um, I'm now getting into TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> the um, young people thing. Listen, but I'm realizing <laughs> the advantages of all these different platforms. You know, these different platforms all have different reaches. Um, different, and in that way you could express yourself in different ways on each platform differently you know um, so definitely take advantage of this, um, social media and all the different platforms because there's worth in all um, and as I think there's different reach on each platform but nice. Instagram has been my main go-to platform so just to put things in perspective right. how long have you been in fashion alright so as long as I could remember, if I could say it that way. Um, but the brand Key Studios, which is my official styling and creative brand, um, this year we've been in existence for three years, right? Um, however, uh, as, as, as younger, the, the, the age, uh, like I was talking to my sister this week, I remember drawing stuff at five. I remember my mom and dad would come to me even at age 10 to say, you feel this looking good at this, you know? And that's actually where it started. It started at home where... So you had color coordination from that age? Dan, listen to me. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, amazing. <it's>, <laughs> I think I, 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 I wouldn't take credit for all of this by myself. Um, I have a grandmother who I grew up seeing putting all sorts of things together. Like, now I realize that she was an, an actual... She's a, she was a stylist, you know? Um... So, would be a hat, to gloves, to scarves, to, and this would be her for church, you know, and I would sit and look at her put these things together. Um, my grandfather, a lot of persons actually don't know, but he was like, uh, he was a major mass man in Tobago, like with a one banner. That's good history. Listen. What was his name? Wilton Nancis. They would call him Flinky. And he won Bander Day many times in Tobago. Um, so, like, I know I inherited this creative gene, um, this fashion gene. Um, but as long as I could remember, it, it, it was just something I always loved. Um, I was not as bold and confident before in owning this. And the moment I decided to, Key Studios was born. And we building on that history all now. Yes. Yes, sir. Progressive. Yes, sir. Always moving forward. Yes, sir. I like it. I mean, just watching at your Instagram, we right. know you've worked with some of the biggest and brightest stars, right. you know? And I could only imagine some right. of those experiences would have been super positive. Right. And you would have gotten a couple of negative in, in between, right. you know? Right. Um, tell me about one experience that happened with a really big star that it put you like in, in, this, in this mindset that this is where I belong. I feel, so it would not have been with like a particular individual, but I remember doing work for 
this is Lawrence Dillon Sachi. This is a marketing PR company in Trinidad. And they were doing it's a big company. Yeah. And they were doing uh, branding for Angostura. And just seeing the amount of work and also money that went into the production, um, it was like, let's say, like a four or five day production. Um, it featured local acts, Nyla Blackman, Rabbit B, etc. Et your song as well was in your element. I was, you know, and um, I worked on that set, and it was really the first time seeing this level of production because this was a multi million dollar production. If you understand, of course, yeah, um, budget, correct, but <laughs> budget, this had a budget, um, and being able to see all these pieces and all these parts come together. I was like, yeah, Kilon, I, I want to I, I want to live this. Like I want to be able to get up every day and, and do this, you know? Um so I feel like honestly that seeing and being a part of that experience um was really one of the scenarios that had me say, Yeah, Kilon, we're doing this. We're doing this officially. Yeah. Nice. Oh, okay. Tell me a little bit about your success mindset and that actual switch that flipped. Right. You know, when you went full hundred into into your um, your, your dreams. For me, um, and I've noticed this kind of I don't want to say a pattern, but a pattern. Um, I had gotten to a very very low point um, in early 2018, and uh, like I feel like it, it, it. What what happened? I was the I was what you say with victim of um, social media bullying, right? Okay. And I remember. Feel, feel, feeling low and feeling like you know everything was lost and there was this part of me that I wasn't sharing but it brought me it would, it, it would bring me so much joy and I said Kilan you know what if you're at a place now where it is that you, you've lost everything um, and you still have this to give let's just give this like if, 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 if these all you have left do this and uh, it really came from a, like starting this brand and starting this business came from a place of hurt it came from a place of me being at my lowest and knowing that i had more to give like you still have a little bit more to give king you know and decided to start this brand and uh, it is what helped bring me through and just seeing, as I said, this 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 thing go from strength to strength. Just seeing God work in this too. Then, listen. So I know some. I know persons could probably identify, and or may not be able to. But a lot of times, we are able to find the little gems in our darkest hour. And that is the truth. Mm-hmm. And that is what Key Studios is like. I was able to find this in my darkest hour. Yeah. No, yeah. that's amazing. Yes. Because um. I believe me and Joshua was um, we were speaking just today. You know, um, we were listening. I was listening to um, Reverend T.G. Jakes, and right. he was saying that you know, rock bottom is a fantastic place Listen. to build a house, <laughs> yeah. to lay down a foundation. Because yeah. I mean, you're strong. Correct. Correct. You know, you're strong. You Correct. you're basically you, Correct. and you're building on you at that right. point in time. So I understand exactly where you're coming yeah. from. Yeah, That's so amazing. It man. is. It is what 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 drives. Um, the success to me outside of that like I would f- have this feeling of, of like butterflies in my stomach all the time you might want to say it's anxiety you might want to say something else because that's something I also have to struggle with and deal with right um, and I have learned to know let them butterflies drive me them butterflies just drive me you know so when I feel in that kind of fear I just start killing it means yeah you have the power up let, let me get this done exactly yeah so yeah. In, just as in, in the darkest and the lowest, let that be that thing that drives you, for sure. You have yeah. to find something else to Correct. fuel it, you Correct. know? Correct. And you find that something from deep down inside. Correct. I like Correct. that. Correct. Yeah. Next question. As a professional, tell me how you deal with negative feedback. <laughs> <laughs> so, one, it is no easy task being an entrepreneur. Is, 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 is not easy at all like I I didn't know um, especially you see you are cleaner accountant receptionist mm-hmm. secretary tell them tell artist, them designer all you know um, as a small business as a new business as a, you understand you are every single thing so 
being able to one juggle all of that in itself is a, a challenge. Um, like I can attest personally for me, like a major thing for me, it I have to work on my communication. Um, because when I start, I'm in it. I'm in it, and then something else happened in here, and then something happened in there, and then somebody come into the studio to prep that. Um, so negative feedback, I say that to see because it's connected to that. Um, how I do with negative feedback is is one. There is, there's a thing that says there's no greater apology than changed behavior. Mm-hmm. You, you learn from your Correct. mistake. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. um, so, scenarios where I may have fallen short in my business, um, I try to work on that. I work on that. I fix that. So, I do have a repeat of that. So, that is when, when I talk about negative criticism, that is what I talk about. Yeah, right? I understand. Yeah. Um, if, if, however, in terms of like, because there's other negative criticism there somebody might feel differently you you may post something and you may think it's the best thing in the world and somebody feels differently well that's kind of your opinion like that doesn't matter to me you know um i've had to come to that place um so but i talk about as it relates to business and your brand and and, and handling your business yeah learned um nothing better than changed behavior um so you fall short in a particular way you don't realize that you had to put a little bit more emphasis here um, fix it, fix it, fix correct, it. Correct, yeah. correct. So that's how I deal with those those, those shortcomings. Yes. I didn't ask you how old are you. I am twenty eight. I'm twenty eight. I'm twenty eight. Twenty eight. Yeah. yeah. That's really inspiring. You know, so young business actually recognized um, professionally for what you, you do. Thank you. That's really amazing. Thank Congrats you. up to that. Thank man. you. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. As an entrepreneur. Um, are any other members of your family? I remember you're saying you, you, um, your, your grandfather was a mass, right. you know, and mom right. was a, a designer. Was that entrepreneurial spirit something that you got handed down? Oh, no, sir. <laughs> oh, no, sir. <laughs> I remember the first time I told my um, folks, because my, my folks are very, they very much are into um, secure yourself an education, secure yourself a well paying job, and we'll work it out in between, you know? Um, old school yeah I remember when I started Keys Studios um, like off the bat I went to my mom and I was like listen I actually want to leave my job and do this full time and she was like no no <laughs> she panicked <laughs> listen you know um, so in terms of that entrepreneurial uh, energy um, this like I, this is new um, what I can say and what I appreciate is that I do, however, have the major, major, major support of my family, you know? Um, That's they, very important. Yeah, they yeah. see the vision, they understand the vision, um, so I have that support. And honestly, I could see now this entrepreneurial spirit with it, 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 it been flowing down. You know, my sister just started her a business. That's um, good news. Does, yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, we work together out of Key Studios. She does uh, amazing manicures pedicures top coat nails plug yes joshua that was a plug <laughs> that was a plug joshua a plug, you know <laughs> um and i now now i start to look at because I, I understand um the impact of you know being able to own your, your own mm-hmm. you know um I have three nieces and I'm excited about us being able to now pass things down to them and they're now being a part of this business and building this and not just money, knowledge, no, for knowledge, sure, yeah. For sure, you know. Um I could see like so I had my niece in the studio this week. She turned five and I brought her to do a photo shoot for her birthday. And she ended up taking the camera from the cameraman and started shooting him. Um that sparked something me. I'm like, okay, sis, I need to be bringing you to the studio with me when on our weekends because you're interested in this. My little young. Listen to me, you know? So, it, it, and that's just seeing how, how this entrepreneurial move and this entre- uh, uh, entrepreneurial vibe now is flowing down into different aspects and layers. So, um, no, this is not something that was innate and natural to us, um, but we shared it. We shared it. Yes. And you're pumping with it. You're yes, moving please. with it. You're yes, moving please. with it. Yes, yeah. please. Yes, please. What's your perspective as an innovator? Right. All your different hats are pulling out innovator. Right. You know, moving forward past COVID. What's your perspective? And my perspective relating as it relates to fashion, as it relates to that industry. Um, I'll even tie it into the creative industry. Um, I feel one 
because of the fact that I have been, we've been locked down here, we've been isolated here, it has definitely changed and impacted my view on a lot of things. One, I, I never envisioned myself being in Tobago long term, you know? However, being here during this time has taught me to want to see the beauty that exists here and the many opportunities that exist right here. Um, in terms of buying local, in terms of producing locally, in terms because you work with a lot of local designers, I do, I do, and what seamstresses, I, correct. and yeah. What so I, what I try to do, even in, in, with all my work, I try to one go to the local folks first. So I try to source pieces here, have things made here as much as I can, um, and I feel generally moving forward, that is the kind of energy that's the kind of mindset that's the kind of thought pattern that we're supposed to have mm -hmm. i actually do a lot of retail work with rashad's men's store rashad's store and moving forward we are now trying to populate that retail store with as much local and locally designed men's clothing as possible you know um so that folks can now walk into a boutique and see different brands from different local persons in one space, you know? Mm -hmm. um, that is how we will generate that income here and keep the thing running. Correct. And, you know? Yeah. Um, so in Need more people thinking like that. For sure, for sure. So that would be my my advice. That was actually where my head is at. Um, I worked on a project that's called From Tobago to the World. It was a creative fashion story. And I have adopted that as generally my mantra moving forward like everything that i do i want it to be a reflection of tobago and present it to the rest of the world um so yeah in terms of innovation we have to now look at the things we have present it and package it as best as we can and have it available yes yeah that's awesome stuff man yes please so you talked about taking it to the rest of the world um right. Have you been vaccinated yet? I have been vaccinated. Okay, cool. Awesome vaccinated. Thing. I want you to tell me, in terms of, in, in your understanding, um, what are the benefits of people getting vaccinated? For me, well, one, I was very much afraid. Um, I was nervous about getting vaccinated, like the night before I fully was just having chills, you know? Um, but there are persons that dine around us daily, right? I live in a house where my mom actually works at Belgrove's funeral home. She's a funeral director. She has to come into contact with all kinds of things and all kinds of people on a daily basis. Um, I've had children in my household. And for me, it was a personal de decision. I felt like it, because they have all kinds of things to say about the vaccine, we know. Um, it may not be preventing you from, but I feel like in some scenarios, you are able to stand a better chance if you are affected or infected, um, at least as the under, my understanding. Mm -hmm. And then, simple and plain put, like, I want to be able to move on. Like, I want to be able to move Agreed. on. Like, I just want to be able to move on. Back to on. the beach, guys. Back yeah. to the beach. I just want to be able to move on. So, my, my thing is, it was a chance to keep, okay, I know if I want to travel, like, this will be a requirement. You're looking forward to traveling? Listen to me. Listen, I, I'm probably, probably not right. Where first? Tell me, where first? So, I've always wanted to go to Jamaica. Like, listen to... I, 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 ain't, I ain't venturing too far yet, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't venturing too far yet, but I've always wanted to go to Jamaica. Um, and I feel like the next opportunity I get, like, I, I want to catch a flight and head to Jamaica. And or, if any opportunity should arise, I should be able to say, yeah, I have my things together, let me get this, yeah, get this done. Um, so, that was my main reason. Like, I want to be able to move on. Like, I want to be able to move on. There's, I, I know we kind of are still in the early stages and we are going to be the statistics and the, the, the tests. Dummies, if you want to call it that, but done, like... Um, they are, it's a, this is a serious thing. Persons are actually dying. Um, I don't know the ins and outs and all of it about everything, but then I want people to move on as best as I can. And that was my reason. Yeah. Yeah. So if folks, the beach too. Yeah. So be familiar with an elevator pitch. Go ahead. Yes. Represent yourself in the shortest possible time in that elevator ride. So I want you to imagine you got into an elevator mm -hmm. and Mr. Barack Obama. 
right. came in with a secret service detail. Damn. And he looked across and he said, hey, who are you? Wait. <laughs> Listen to me. I, I have got 30 Damn. seconds to sell this man my dream. Whether it be for funding, whether it be for resources, right. it doesn't matter. Right. Give me your pitch. So I will quicker, let me, let me say this before, eh? I will quicker talk about um, what I do than who I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah? All right. Um, I'm Kilon. I represent Key Studios, which is a full service creative agency. We specialize in providing editorial type experiences for all our clients. So we are, in essence, a master class of curators, stylists, designers. Um, and if it is that you are interested in out of the box, innovative editorial type experiences, Key Studios, Kilom Lock is the, the, the man to come to the place to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, if I was Obama, I would have been sold. <laughs> if he had stuck into the end, right? Yes, we can. All right, I would have been damn, gone. Damn. <laughs> You, you come good there. You come good there. You come good there. Come yeah, good but there. that was amazing stuff. That was amazing stuff, Same. Keelan. Keelan, I really want to say thank you awesome. for coming on the show, for sharing a lot about your life. You know, I, I think your story is really inspiring. Thank you. you know, to a lot of people your age and even you know older, people right. can look at you and see what is possible for sure. when you let your imagination free and you believe in yourself. For sure. For I really, sure. really, really love it, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to Tobago Connect and our conversation with Mr. Keelan Whitlock, designer, fashion curator. See you next time. Welcome to Tobago Connect. This is the program where we connect with all you folks out there and uh, we talk about some of the things happening here in Tobago. We are in Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean and of course today I have a very special guest. This is a very special man and an icon in the entertainment world. I want to welcome today Mr. Michael Baker and Michael, you know, today I'm going to call him Baker because Everybody say Baker. Today, I really want to say it's a pleasure to have you here with me. And uh, we're going to be talking music, entertainment, tourism. We're going to try to see how much we can talk within <laughs> this one hour. That, that's a lot to talk. Mm -hmm. I remember one year, acts back on all those dynamic fellas mm -hmm. who were singing and thing. Um, Popo, Cypher, yeah. local Cypher, not Cathy. And they're singing. But as the MC, I didn't have to audition as such. 
Yeah. When I listen to the songs, I tell myself, Ambika, you could do something too, you know? Do something. Because you're not just an MC. Yeah. So I went to when I wrote two songs, two beautiful songs. One of which um, capitalized or uh, catapulted me into the road march of Tobago. Tobago. Right, Tobago. Tobago road march and the Tobago. You remember the name of that song? The bass. The bass. Okay. Yeah. Yes, man. So I wrote this song and I think I went to the competition because whenever they don't sing, I had the privilege to sing. So I said, when the judges came, they select me. Go on in the finals. And I let go the two songs. One, you know, Calypso in those times. One serious Calypso and one, yeah, and one, one yeah, and social lighter. commentary. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. And a Calypsonian in them time was a Calypsonian. Yeah, I respect the soca and the dub and the reggae. But a Calypsonian was a more peace. Of the mm. nation. Remember, you talk about some critical yes. songs, yes. controversial songs, right? When you made a calypso in those days, the composition must tell a story. Mm-hmm. Beginning to end. When you finish, mm-hmm. everybody must know exactly what you were talking about. So, whether it's humor, road march potential, social commentary, um, whatever it was, you know, and you sing it, your song. At yeah, have yeah. taste, quality, lyrics, mm-hmm. melody. And, and that's where it went, you know. So I, I did that and I, I won the match. The road you match. actually won? Yes, I won the crown and the road match, Tobago road what, match. What year? 1977. 1977. I can't remember much, but I remember, I know, I remember, remember that one. <laughs> 19, wow. I remember the fellas coming over and play. I don't and the song was all about a tourism. Okay. Tourists okay. came to Trinidad and Tobago. Come to Tobago and meet a big Hey, let's let's clear up something one time as we Tell have me. this privilege. Tell me Come let me go to Tobago. The amount of people that say that is you no you know that people do that. Yes. I get calls. And could you get on the baker? I need to get the. Oh, yeah. There we go. Right. There but we that. Go. I, I think that song because. They're mad. They're totally mad. <laughs> yes. Because I'm. But you know life. that you you did that song so many times that maybe. No, this... Johnny. So, John, respect. Right. I never performed that song live anywhere. Really? All I know is the chorus. Baker, the amount of persons yes. that have yes. asked me about yes. that song with you. you. And I oh, justice must But you have another done. song that's close to it. Yes. That Tell is us my, about. that one is my song. Which one? Come discover both of us. That is that it. is my song. And people get confused. And there's another two. one too. When I went to Trinidad to uh, make me fame and think. Come it. discover and, all of us. Yeah. Sing that line to me here. Yeah? Well, before, before I do that, yeah. let me tell you a little story. I, I, you know, many people have their own natural name and many right. of them have a sobriquet name. Sparrow, if you ask the right name, if Francis just like, they don't know that. Right. You have to say Sparrow and Kitchener and all this kind of thing. But um, David Rudder mm-hmm. and they the, Marshall the they and myself, uh, I had to switch my name because there was a calypso along the same line that was patriotic, that plays all the time. God bless our nation by Lord Baker. Yes, I know that one too. Boy, I know about that too. That's where the Bacchanal starts. Yes, start. yes. Now, he lives in the States. Yes, I think it's something Correct. King is his name. Yes. Can you check on it? But the song was Portrait of Trinidad, no, God bless our to, nation. No, we have to say what the facts are. Yes. So let's, let's talk. God bless our nation, Portrait of Trinidad, one of the two big mm-hmm. songs early days mm-hmm. that used to play independence time. So when I got to the thing, I said, look, I'm Baker, so who is me? So I call myself Lord Baker. But there, because he stopped. Since he sang that song, I don't think he did it. Right, else. right. So I used in the I revitalized the name, revived right. the name. And I Lord Baker and I sing the song, Lord Baker up and down the place. You see many records with Lord mm-hmm. Baker. Until after a while I get that vex and I said, look, Baker, you have a boot certificate, you know, using it, Michael Baker. You see? Oh, okay. So the song now. We like a drop of rain in the ocean. That's the song, right. Like a drop in the sea. And all them very best countries have to learn a lesson from we. Where the Negro, the white man, the Chinese, the Indian, we eat together as one. Yeah. In this wonderland of Calypso, in this wonderland of steel band, where I was born. Da 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 da. God bless our nation. Now that is the song I know back to front. Right. 
That, that no, Lord. that's your song. No, that's Lord Baker. That's Lord Baker. Yeah. Ah, that okay. one is God Bless Our Nation. Right. Now, my classic now, that was made popular through the scouting days because I use it as a theme song every week. That's yes. right. Come discover one of us. Come discover both of us. And the wine and the calm and this. Whose calm. song is that? That is my own. That is oh, the one. That one is yes. yours. Now, Baker. Yes. So you don't come. know what you have just done. <laughs> you have literally oh, heard thousands hey. of persons yes, yes. to understand yes. Yes. the difference between those two songs yes. and also Come Let We Go to Bego. Yes. Yes. I, I'm telling you, you have and, just and to cleared me. that up. One of the serious mistakes a lot of people make is that they do not know the right title of the song. Mm -hmm. uh, the name of the song. Come, let me go, let me go to Tobago. Right. It is Lord Kitchener's song. And the name oh. of the song is Ode to Tobago. Ode to Tobago. Yes. yes. And if you listen to the melody, ba da 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 da. Yes. Da -da -da -da. That's Kitchener. Yes. Kitchener was yes. a bassist. Yes. Yes. And he knows yes. music. Yes. You know? Ba -da -da -da. But this is, this is so good but that you've cleared up at least four great songs there. Let's not wear controversial songs. Yeah. A, a, a good working old thing. Old thing. Better than a young thing. Better than a young thing. Anytime. Where's that song about? I mean, Listen to me though. Be careful. You could get your head box because it's a good working, not an old thing, you know. A good working old thing. Right. A good and working I, old thing. Yes. It has right. to be. A, if it's not a good working old thing, right. don't go in that song. So, but this is about a car. I came from the countryside one day. I love American cars. I had a left hand Oldsmobile from Canada, where actually that just sell me for about, what, for $16,000, I think. Mm -hmm. um, them days, cars was $30,000. You pay three years for the car, you can't get it. You pay the full price and you can't get your car in them early days. So. And I had that car, Palos. And coming from the countryside one day, you know, the car spoke wheel. The man had the car back of the garage, the car, uh, he old, maybe 15 years old at the time, of the day, but it's pick and spank and it, you know, real nice car. Inside was velvet seats and then I left and drive. So, and then I drive on the side where all the girls and boys are, you know. Mm -hmm. the, the, the passenger here on the outside, car could lick you up. <laughs> so here on the outside. And you left and drive, you right on the inside, you're taking the corners very nicely. Yes. Yeah. And this, this road hog comes along, pop, 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 boy, cause you're that whole thing now. And then I tell him, I said, boy, this old thing, better than a new thing you have there. Yeah. By the time I, and I was going from Charlottesville, supervising like that. By the time I reached Tommy, the song was made. Oh my I go to work in old thing, better than a young thing, anytime, anytime. I go to work in old thing, better than a new thing, anytime. He don't fuss, he don't rust, he don't greet you with disgust. He don't swell, he don't tell, and darling, it's grateful like hell. It's a car, but you know, I twist it yes, around, yes, so you have a yes. different um, palette, you know. So tell me some, some of the other songs that you consider gems of yours. Well, somewhere along the line, you can pull up the other one, because they're on the YouTube. Right. Uh, another gem is Water Safety. Mm -hmm. I made a song that if you learn the song as you learn any kind of song, any song, you will never get into trouble in the sea. Right. In, on, or above water, or in the lake, or in the pool. Right. It tells you everything that you should not, and what you should do when you go to the beach. Obey the lifeguard, take uh, half an hour after you eat, then you go and swim. Uh, don't swim alone. Swim parallel the shore, so if you have to stand up, you could come out. When you go out, you go to deep water. You don't know if you're a shark, unknown condition. Um, 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 fish, jellyfish, and all that thing. When you swim out, and the, nice, the dangerous thing about swimming out is only a man who could swim will come for you out there. But if you swim along the shore where we race deep water, you could stand up. Every fool could help you. Yes. I yes. see. And 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 obey the lifeguard at all times. You know the flags. The flags have a meaning. Don't. Be but but that's a are. that's an eternal song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meaning that song can be played. Oh, most of my music. You all know, the time. All my music. And Johnny, so John, as a matter of fact, there are a lot of calypsos that because of the way they were composed, they are lifeless. Right. All now, calypsos are now, you know, they, they, don't, they don't have a meaning. 
in this in this such a time, songs have a meaning. Although they are 25, 30, 40, 50, 100 years old, but the the the, the philosophical part of this of the composition and the wit in the calypso and. For example, people talk about hard times and how we should help one another and give help your neighbor. Now, this is what we do right now in this particular time. So, I have a really difficult question to ask. No, no, nothing in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Me, I will tell you. So, Soka came and take over, right? True. And how do you see Calypso in your mind surviving beyond the Soka? It's not a matter beyond. Uh, they each so, so what, what they I have mean? They, they have its place. It has right. its place. Yeah, but, but, but will you say that Calypso, in its original form, when it was being performed, yes. Yes. there was economics in it. People, you could have put out a Calypso record, people will purchase that record. Yes. Kitchener, Sparrow, it don't matter. Merchant, well, all of those. People and Cali saying, Hold on. And Calypso would also play on the radio all the time. But now with the coming of Soka and not the dance. Not with the coming of Soka, Sir John. Mm -hmm. Because you will be you will give testimony to what I'm going to say. Calypso was of an era. Mm -hmm. Like Ska, you know, we had Ska, yeah. rock and roll and all yeah. that. Big bell, big ska, mento, right. all of them it reggae. Time. It was mm -hmm. a time. And what I have observed through the years mm -hmm. is that a, a new generation took over, developed, yeah. mm -hmm. and they were worthless. Oh my goodness! Well, you want me to tell it? I don't. Know. Tell me. Tell me. This They're is not going to do no research. Right. They're not going to read a book. They didn't know about social. What's happening around? Like uh, the a person who do not extempo. You had to be right up here with your mind. Gypsy and them fellas. They go to take a number from the hat and tell them, sing about COVID-19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better yeah, know the topic. Straight and, up. And that's what yeah. I'm talking about. Now, when you listen to most Calypsos now, it has, there was, there was the Ditty Calypsos, Dublin 10 there. Right, right. That, when you're talking, wanting like sparrows and yeah, master yeah, that, yeah, yeah. saltfish and all that stuff. Yeah. Talk about wanting, but it means something else. Your song too. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, I like it. I like it because yeah, yeah. it brings a joy to people yeah, yeah. to see how witty you are. Yeah. Um, and then there were the calypsos where he said, education, education. Yeah. Right, all them so serious calypsos, um, party calypsos, mm -hmm. political calypsos, that's the one I was missing. Mm -hmm. Right? And comedy, those were the categories. Right. And you had all those categories. Now, if you go way back into the old days before you and I, and you listen to some of them calypsos, even a um, the guy who says, I want you to put all your family name on a piece, piece of paper. Yeah. Now, if you, in a short set of words, if you know what he tells you in that song. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I blame it on lack of training. Mm -hmm. People didn't go to school like your good self did mm -hmm. and learn the art of melody, and bars mm -hmm. and writing music. So in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. Mm -hmm. So they just say, I could sing and I could rap. And they just go on with that. And make it worse. They're only attacking the anatomy of a woman. Oh God, the bumps tight, the thing thing tight, the thing thing tight, 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 tight. So hold up, hold up. And that's what they're gonna do the whole day. And because of the fact that they were not concerning themselves with lyrics. Chorus took over. Mm -hmm. They didn't have no verse. When they were right. at this, darling, ding 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 ding, darling, ding 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 ding, ding. And let me wine, let me wine, and let me wine, let me wine, and that's what's going on the road, right? You know, three chords, and I'm going to leave you a you know? <laughs> <laughs> and they're going on the road with that. And so, the librarians that used to be in Radio 610 and those things, who used to vet your songs and tell yes. that they're playing, that came out. And um, just like in the Calypso's performance in the hotel, a lot of young people just came up. They were not qualified, they mm -hmm. never went to school mm -hmm. to study nothing. And they got, they got credits and they got hired, right? Because the people, the managers as it were, and, and those they don't want to pay me and you the money mm -hmm. we're supposed to get. So I will want to fight also for my show. 
the guy goes, man, look, I could sing for your tours. Give me a thousand five. And that's how the breakdown starts. Yes, yes, yes. Never believing that you're mashing up the parry. Yeah. You're mashing up the thing. Because, Sir John, when you get on your piano, mm -hmm. that road or that Yamaha, and you start to play, the essence of the music is so rich. Mm -hmm. Good? They bring the keyboard now, and the keyboard used yeah. to, the keyboard could do everything. Even the Pantone, oh, the yeah. music Pantone oh, yeah. is on yeah, the keyboard, yeah. and we're getting a But what synth. about auto-tune for voice? <laughs> everything, yes. <laughs> Making you sing in yes, key, yeah. even though you're you, not singing you know you had key. a key. Bang! Yeah. And listen to that. Yeah. No! You have a thing talking you know. You said something, Baker, and I, I want to go down that rabbit hole. You said something about... You say rabbit hole? Yeah. You, you know, Back yeah. and all in the place. Let me no, go, let no, me go. No. You said that it has to do with training? Yeah. Right. So, who for you, who, I mean, in your mind, who is responsible for that kind of training? Calypsonians passing it no, no, on? No, 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 no. no organizations? No, no, who no, is supposed no. to do that? Time right mannerism is gone mm -hmm. i couldn't pass big people a long time on the street without saying good morning good right. evening they cut my backside right. when i go home more licks, that right. is gone you couldn't use obscene language mm -hmm. no no damn no nothing like that. now them fellas talking yeah, no. in obscene language yeah. and they're friends you know good friends but that is the way they adopted mm -hmm. pants below the bam see i think you couldn't do that a long time a belt was your navel, mm -hmm. the pants has to be there. Properly welting a shirt in your pants. When you're wearing a jacket, it's like you're going to a wedding. It's not the best. You know what I mean? And and those So how, how how do we how do we how do we It just it just it just came in to the back door and spread like COVID did. You see? So how I mean I'm trying to get You can't get you. back here, you can't get back. Forget right. that. So so what what is the solution? We no, accept no, it's too late, it's move. too late. The horse is out at his, the, his table, right? Um, so... Uh, but, but, but on the planet, the you still have societies no, that no, no, are no, disciplined. No, 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 John, John. And you know what is worse now? Mm -hmm. uh, so are, are you disputing that? That there are societies in different parts of the world? Even here, there are elements of persons who know how to have their own children disciplined. But you're in the minority. John, you're in the minority. Yeah, but how, what is how, the sense you have your child, mm -hmm. well-mannered and brought up at home? And when he goes out there, he has peer pressure. Right. You know what that signifies? What? He has to change. So you, you are saying, the, but, but it sounds as though you are saying... The whole thing mash up, John. It mash up. If you want me to tell that, it mash up. Um, no, I, I am a little more optimistic. No, 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 I, I understand what you mean when you say But it I'm mash telling you what is. But we have to find ways, Baker, of still taking then, and encouraging. Then, because people like Joshua, for example. Then, right? then, John, you have to start with the new brand born children. Mm -hmm. Take them away from what is happening All right. now and start to train them. Mm -hmm. So you, you're looking at the next 20 years, yeah. you'll get back what you want. Baker. But because of technology. Mm -hmm. You know, if I had to get any money now when I sing, I had to perform live, so I will pay eighteen thousand dollars, seven thousand dollars to make a record, to put it on YouTube for a man to go and download it. No money at all. So, so you, 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 talking you about? really don't believe that if we find a way, right, to create policy that then becomes a governing kind of system of how people have to behave, you don't think that will work? John, you, you are, you are wishing well. That is good. Uh huh. I like your, your dream. But you see, that is good. So let me give no, you an example of what I mean. Wait, wait. Hold on. Yeah, I won't give you an example. Apologize. I, I went to I went to Brooklyn, um, a Brooklyn school of music to practice. I had to play at a function. Hold so, on. Say it slowly. Say back that whole thing again slowly. And you'll understand what I was telling no, you. No, no, no. Hold went on. To where? Brooklyn. Yes, and what right. it is? A, a school of music. No, yeah, hold on, you hear hold that? on. No, but you, you see, hear that? you're coming to where I'm coming. Good, go ahead, John. In one of the rooms, this was a summer program, they were teaching babies, 
lie, lying in this room, carpeted. Yes. Babies came to do their first session yes. of music. Yes. They had these speakers, and what they were doing were playing different kinds of music, from classical yes. to jazz. And I asked the ladies, you all explain. She says, no, that's how they start. That's how they start. They start to expose them because music, babies react even at five months, eight months from early. As a matter of fact, the people I remember, even when I was having kids, um, we had tapes, all right, CDs that you used to play so that even while the child is in, 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 inside, in the, womb, yes. in the womb, that the babies started to hear the music yes. every night. Yes, they're getting right? vibration. So the point I'm making is that but those became kind of policy of an area of how they're going to start children. Of course, it ain't going to be everybody. So I'm saying is that don't you feel that there's still room, even a small society Let, like me, rewind. Tobago, Let me rewind. All right? Let me rewind. That we can you know why policy Trinidadian, to do it. You know why a Trinidadian, West Indian, Caribbean person could wind better than a tourist? From small here, the rhythm of the steel band and the drums in, embedded in them. I have met many international guitarists. They can't strum guitar. King get ticket ticket the king get ticket. They can't make that because Calypso is for fourths, that kind of beat that doesn't really exist, you know. Um and and that that, that that is how it goes. When you see you watch a little child, three years, four years, and yes, okay. He starts to whine and go up to the ground already. So rightly as you said earlier on, is where you start to teach the child. And do you keep on instilling that teaching into the child? Good, because when but, I, child... but, but but do you personally, as an entertainer, believe that we can create a system that encourages discipline and the right training? But it must be sustainable. We Meaning, to, it mustn't start and we stop. We have to take advantage of COVID, and we can use technology. Yes. We have it now because right now. All the big stage and the bright lights and the false music and all that gone. We had to go back to where you play your, your piano mm -hmm. and you sing harmoniously where your vocal cords mm -hmm. enriching the atmosphere and you get that beautiful sound. You want it? What? You hear that angel singing that harp, right? And it's not coming out of a microphone through technology. I like no, technology we're going, to we're the going max. Back there. I like the world is already going back there. But, but we have an opportunity mm -hmm. to do the things that you're asking for now. Mm -hmm. You know, many people can't I cook believe it can before be done. COVID and a lot to cook now. That's true. <laughs> because why? They were taken away one. from the regular <laughs> thing. They were taken away from the regular <laughs> thing. And they had no choice if you want to eat. Listen to the yeah. technology. If you want to eat, you have to do that. And so, how can you, in this age, where young people quick to tell you they have no respect for the police? No respect for the teacher, no respect for the parents. Where the parents are teenagers themselves, they don't know what they're doing. Right? The parents are teenagers. You sound like you don't believe. No, no. You see, it's it's I am 72. And what I have seen and where I've been mm -hmm. have have uh, caused me to have concern. Um when I walk down the road and I hear two young people cuss, like they stab me with a knife. I, you know, I cannot cost No, I, I, I understand. But as natural, but as, weaknesses but as natural, plenty but, weaknesses. Yeah, there, there and so, loads of what you're asking for now is for something like COVID to take over the world, and you you are now forcing yeah, all and changed. sundry. Yes, forcing all and sundry to go. Um, um, what do you want, boy? Um, world, world what? Uh, term for the COVID thing. Uh, the new world Pandemic? order. No, the new, world new order. normal. Yeah, the new normal. <laughs> yeah. So everybody had to be going there. Because in every proper country where there are hundreds of thousands, millions of people, is they are the bona fide instrumentalists in Africa, in India. And even in China and Tobago, we have the people, show me you want, like you, John. Show me you want, they may take that away your keyboard from you. You may go and, and, and you may play an electric piano. No, I, I will always play the real piano. Because that's where the strength is. Exactly. Yeah. But how many young people have done that? No, and you have a point there. There are loads of great keyboardists who can't play Look the piano. at a major weakness. Yeah. DJs is one of our killers. Mm -hmm. 
broadcasters is another one of our yes. kids. And we go by example. Eh? You take a DJ because you want to pay him a little bit of money. You never go to school to talk. You don't have no craft, you don't know mannerism. So the DJ is on the radio talking to an invisible audience, but you're talking to an audience. And hey, a big audience. Hey girl, how things? That's the DJ. Hey girl, how things went last night? Well, I'm coming by you later to get something to eat. Eh? That has no place in your broadcasting. Yeah. That has no place. Yeah. Good morning, sir. How can I help you? Welcome to the program. So nice to hear you. Oh, beautiful. And thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. You could never get that. Yeah. Okay, Palos. All right. Yeah, man. What well, we going to meet later, you know? And then you pay so much money to make a song, musically designed, bars and everything. And the DJ will take your song. I'm not knocking them, but it, because this is the time. But I talk about what I know, how it ought to be. So you pay for so long to get your recording and things like that. Night, whole night you sit on the studio. Professional people are playing the bars and all of that. And you make a record how you want it to be sung, to sound. Uh, the director, the music, the, 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 the band leader, the arranger knows what you want. He puts his own little meticulous thing like in Panorama and yeah. he makes a song. Yeah. And you let go the song. And the DJ just come down. <clears throat> All right. Ding dong ding to go licky ding ding to go bing ding ding go licky ding ding. Ski. And the next one come now. Boom ding 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 licky ding. Donkey ding licky 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 ding. Ski. Oh wow wow wow. They ain't play a song three minutes yet. <laughs> well, those are ain't playing three minutes. And I'm so glad that COVID come. Because we are approaching a time when I go to a fete and you see a nice lady. By the time you cross the hall to dance, you see the DJ, the don't music. play the song. <laughs> the DJ, don't play the song. I'm just stupid. I'm going back. So, and, so. and that is why a lot of people <clears throat> dance by themselves. Yeah. Because they can't dance for just Castilian, Bolero and all. Because you hold a young person to dance and they watch your funny eye. Yeah. And they don't know. Yeah. They cannot, yeah. they cannot yeah. synchronize with your legs. They're looking so, down. So, so tell me, Baker. I mean, I know we're coming down, we're winding down. Winding down without scouting? Yeah, we're winding down. The issue of scouting, a lot of people have even asked me, tell us, is scouting possible at Ken? Is that something you think that you would be willing to at least get it up, work with a young person? What? what tell us. Tell us about scouting from where you see it, can that come back or we have to come back with something different? <laughs> Johnny, when 1977 came and I made my song, I went to Arthur Dakota, Les Stan Paul, Cranky McIntosh, uh, uh, Pelham Goddard, all those guys have arranged for me because I wanted my music to sound well. And the first thing I would do when I make a record is rush to TTT and stand up behind a blank stage like long before you could talk about internet, eh? Time for a blank says and my, my song. And that is how I had I had the most video at one time. Mass channel on them for that was too young to soak out, so forget about it. I'm talking I'm 72. Mm -hmm. So so you know. Um and I will sing my song and I you see me the papers, the singing live guard, I think that and Tobago Star and bam bam bam. And I had the most videos. And when they had the unfortunate um Uprising in Trinidad mm -hmm. and TTT Bondo, mm -hmm. there went all my videos. Oh. And the only well, copy. You were that part I, of that damage. Okay. Yeah. The only thing I had left was um, my good friend who used to do Calypso Showcase. Um, Alvin Daniel. He, he would have had his own. Yeah, team. he had some of the thing. Yeah. And he had the copy of what I did when he interviewed me. Right. And yes. in there, yeah, a little clip of things like that. Yes. And that's the only thing I have my on that day. And I have promised myself with the advent of the YouTube and things like that, I let that happen again. So as soon as I make a song, up on YouTube storage, up on YouTube storage, you know. So I had videos. What no, no, but, but, but I'm asking... The virtual thing was there long before. No, no, I, I got that. But I'm so what I'm going to do with scouting? scouting. It got to be a virtual. Okay, I, so I the can, way you see it, it, it has to go to a virtual set. Well, yeah, because right. people ain't going out no more. Right. After this this session gone, because we take people years, it's like when fire burn a place, you can take years for the tree to go back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And people are not leaving their home, the risk of going out. 
traveling in motor car, paying money to go to a party, when the same show you'd see it in an hour right, on TV. Right, they're they're right, never going right. to do it. So, yeah, things have changed. Yeah, they, have changed. They, they, they have, But I, I still think we'll have a hybrid, a hybrid system will have to exist. Yeah. Where we yeah. have, you know, yeah. um, some people come for the live and we still have to stream it. But, but that, was, was, it to that one was nice about scouting. There was you know? a live and um, people used to come and enjoy the live. And because of the live, and it was Kaleidoscope, and everybody coming mm -hmm. to it, everybody, mm -hmm. the household name, foreigner, visitor, everybody coming to scouting. I found resources through helpful people, teamwork, uh, deceased crew, car crew, mm -hmm. and many, many, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Lewis, even your good self, uh, George Lee, all those people mm -hmm. used to help me and things like that to promote the show. And so the eight quarterfinals, the two semifinals and finals, always went to Channel 6 Yes, to be televised. And I'm talking about from 1994 to 2009. Mm -hmm. So much years I've been doing videos and things like that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's 23 years at uh, uh, 32 weeks a year, giving away a car. Uh, Duvon Stewart, world famous mm -hmm. artist now. He always says to me, Baker, you owe me a car. Because he was the first one in the first year. But there I, was no car in the first year? No, it was a car. Ah, gotcha. Only $7,000. You owe him a car. So I owe him a car. <laughs> Everybody has got a car. I got you. So I owe him a car. So he always say, and, and that is one of the guys who came to scouting. And it's one of the guys who never looked But he, 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 you know the beauty about that? You know, he also came through 12 and under. Yeah. Team talent. But scouting. But, I mean, in those days, there was almost a transition. Exactly. Yes. And wherever he went, he stood predominant, he stand firm, mm -hmm. and he, he, he stuck to his metal. Yep. And yep. he is where he is today. Yep. yep. Um, so people like... Oscar him, B. Yeah. He had several other people that went through there. Lornet, Ned, yeah. um, Angela Campbell. Um, they all worked yeah. at one yeah, time. All, all who, even my friend on, on Channel 5 there, you know, joke dramatician. Oh, you mean Brother B? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Brother B, you know, joke dramatician. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. All of those guys helped me with scouting in terms of being present, vying for the winning. No, I, I think, I think, I Baker, we could, we can safely say that in context of Tobago, I mean, your contribution has spanned several areas. Um, so, I, I mean, you've kind of told us today as a lifeguard and you told us how that was built how that came about i love that story you told us about how you became a calypsonia you know and i like how you developed that story you saw others and you were like no man and then there's a big thing you said earlier in the conversation where you said you saw you doing what you wanted to do you never really concerned too much about out there and even earlier, your, 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 your teachers saw that you were always this confident guy. Yes. Um, and then you, you spoke about the lifeguard situation um, in, in terms of teaching others swimming. All right. And then now as this consummate and complete um, entertainer, I think one of the things about doing these programs is that we have the opportunity for persons to learn about our heroes. To learn about our heroes, the people that have shaped Tobago, all right? The people who have shaped Trinidad and Tobago by extension. And certainly the world, because whatever you do here impacts what happens in the world. I've met people away, even when I was traveling, always ask me about you. They always remember your clothes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, they they always talk over your singing yes. for hours yes. and the clothes. Yes. So because, I know you are an icon. Because, John, um, I got the flavor for watching the Commodores and those yeah. older yeah. girls, you know. Yeah. Uh, people like, um, I feel good. Yeah. Right? James Brown. Yes. <laughs> you couldn't go on stage yeah. in a Wrangler. No. And no, no jersey. When yeah. Tina Turner comes on stage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything was know, about the... You are getting paid 
the mm. worst thing you can do, Johnny. Yeah. So John, the worst Dress thing you properly. can do, no, is to come on stage and look in the audience and see people have the same clothes on that you have, right. you know, and they're paying you to perform. Mm -hmm. The thing is, show business, show something. Yes, yes. So something, it's a business and it's a show. So something, so I can't go on, you see, you see me today? Yeah, no. You see me? You, I can't leave my home, my darling wife. I don't, what would be interesting is that, how do you decide which one you're going to wear? That's interesting. Yeah, well, 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 well. <laughs> Baker, I want to thank you a lot for this. Um, I know we could talk for two or three much more hours talk about with that. all kinds of stuff. Yes and yes. But, you know, for our program, I really want to thank you for being with us today. And uh, Tobacco Connect. And I really, really appreciated the information they gave us. Um, I feel as though we have so much content. We might have to split this one show into several, <laughs> into several and you're, pieces. And you're here because, you know, you're here but I job. think our, our listeners and our viewers certainly got an appreciation of Michael Baker, the entertainer, um, from right here in Tobago. I want to thank you, Michael. And uh, you've been viewing Tobago Connect today, our very, very special guest. Mr. Michael Baker, or Baker as we call him, uh, the consummate entertainer. And uh, today was really, 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 I enjoyed this immensely. And uh, looking forward, of course, to seeing you in our next program of Tobago Connect. Good evening.